Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Rudy's comments and he's getting a lot of people sending him a lot of negative stuff including this video, Rudy responds, Star City Games dumps bulk. I believe he is talking about Star City Games sale and there have been advertising on Facebook that they want to dump hundreds of thousands of cards and Rudy's like, oh, why would they dump them now when the prices are so low? Rudy, because it's the same with Hasbro stock. It can always get lower. Just because the prices are at all-time low today doesn't mean tomorrow it can't go lower. And Magic cards are, in my opinion, not viable right now. Um, if you want to buy singles for your deck that will have utility, go ahead. Everything else from Alpha Investment, Patreon boxes are just not going to be worth it. I find it a little sickening that he's promoting Wilds of Aldrin. The new Ixalan, which is a terrible set, by the way, in terms of long-term value. You don't need, I mean, even the best sets of all time in terms of, quote, investment, War of the Spark, RTR, they're selling for less than $100 a box, my dudes. Um, there is no one, no one in interested in Ixalan. You can see this uh, video was, the market was wrong. Ixalan does really well. Buy from Rudy Chan. Nah, man. No one wants this. This stuff, well, I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen. You're going to buy the stuff in cases. You're going to pay your monthly fee to the candy man. And then the, the taco man, I guess the taco man, right? And the taco man's going to F you in the bank, man. Because you're going to hold it for 10 years and you're going to think it's going to go up in price. Then your parent will have a medical emergency. Your spouse will have a medical, some emergency will happen or you just want to get rid of it. And the only dude who's willing to buy it is Alpha Investments. The guy who sold it to you for 99, $89 plus $10. The guy who sold it to you, right, is the only one willing to buy it. But he ain't going to give you a good price for it. He's done this multiple times now. Where he's bought back from Patreons at a massive loss. Right? Um, he bought the old... I mean, he's done this multiple times to multiple Patreons. I get emails, I get texts, I get Facebook messages. And he's promoting Doctor Who. Doctor Who is undervalued. Like, who actually believes that you should go out and buy collectors, you should buy cases of collector's edition of Doctor Who because it's, un it's undervalued. How is this undervalued? Who is the audience for this? Like, in 10 years, people will be selling their Doctor Who cases back to Rudy Chan. And that's exactly what he wants, right? He sells the shittiest products to his patrons. Like, he has good product. In his videos, he has got these amazing products of Weatherlight. And, you know, yeah, they lost money, but it's not like Doctor Who. you much rather put that same amount of money into a Weatherlight or a Tempest booster box than a Doctor Who case of Collector's Edition. Come on. Doctor Who is undervalued, Rudy. Really? Really? And everyone should be buying Doctor Who cases because I know in 10 years from now, price i don't even think magic will be around for 10 years from now like i based on based on how things are currently going it would not shock me if magic doesn't make it 10 more years like and and rudy is so positive about about it and and and, and like i don't know why so many people believe him when he's been proven wrong over and over again and especially now it can always go lower, right? Falling knives idea. There's never actually a good point to catch the falling knife without getting injured. It just depends on how much you want to be injured, I guess. So back to this uh, video about Star City Game. Okay, so we Rudy leads us to believe that Tro and Toad getting out of magic. Star City Games looks like it might be trying to get out of magic, right? It would be hard because they only do magic. Card Shop Live, Channel Five, well, they're out of magic, right? They're now owned by eBay, TCG Player, right? Um, TCG Player, their volume is actually much heavier on uh, Pokemon cards and Magic now. So, if anything, TCG Player might want to get out of Magic. I don't, there are many local game stores. I went to, I went to six local game stores. With uh, my girlfriend's nephew. Uh, we were doing Yu-Gi-Oh! So that not a single Magic player at all. Three of them had were closing up and were just about to bankrupt. Or just close their shops in total. And they had Magic cards. A lot of them. 
and they wanted to sell them for too much money again. The the price memory of Magic cards is like really, really ridiculous. Everyone thinks their collection is worth so much money. Your collection is worth nothing. Your collection is worth zero. It's worth whatever somebody will pay you for it. Right? Card Kingdom every day, they lower so not only does Card Kingdom lower its buy list almost every week, it also has problems paying out. Because of the union strike and so on. I Again, they're saying it's because of that. It could easily be they don't want to pay it. It could easily be they're waiting to see what happens. The market happens. Like, I don't think people understand how difficult it is to sell their cards right now. It's not like it used to be. It's very difficult to sell, guys. And sometimes the only dude who's willing to buy the cards at 10% or 5% of what you paid for it is Alpha Investment. He's literally the only dude who will buy the cards, right? The cards that he sold you. Anyway, back to my original point. Um, these cards are going to zero, uh, and they're going to zero with a bullet. Like Doctor Who. What the effing Doctor Who? <laughs> That's what you guys should be buying. <laughs> Ixalan. Rise of the Eldred. These are sets that are, in my opinion, worse than New Compenna. And New Compenna gets put... Because the, the more recent the set, the larger the supply Amazon has of that set. And Amazon, maybe it doesn't dump this weekend. Maybe it dumps next week. But I promise you, it will dump. Right? There, there's a sequence of these Amazon dumps, right? Like, And when they dump, they continue to dump. There's no, there's no limit to the amount of cards... Amazon. Now, I buy from Amazon. I mean, I own a store and I was buying from Amazon because it was $20 cheaper to buy from Amazon than to buy from my distributor. Of recent sets, okay? Brothers War, right? I think the next set to be dumped is New Phyrexia. That set was hyped to the moon by Rudy Chan. Man, don't, don't listen to this guy, man. He has really bad... His advice is self-centered. He doesn't even play these games, guys. It's like... And there, there are times, and even in the Meta Zoo, the, the one when he was trying to pump his Rudy Crown Eater, he opens Meta Zoo and he hits the chase card. It's a forty dollar card. He doesn't even know it's the chase card, guys. You can watch the Meta Zoo video. I think it was in Native, right? He was trying to pump up Native. So for somebody trying to pump up a set, and for him not to, for him to hit an actual valuable rare card, and not realize it's the valuable rare card. Shouldn't that tell you everything you need to know about whether or not he loves the game? Shouldn't that be like a red flag? That Wait a second, maybe this guy doesn't actually play MetaZoo. Maybe this guy knows nothing about MetaZoo. Right? He literally hit one of the chase cards in his native box opening, passed it by, and never made a comment. Guys... That's the advice you're taking. That's the person you're taking advice to when you buy your $500 MetaZoo boxes. Come on now. Come on now. 